recognize uh, co-chair. Thank you, Chairman Donald. What we have seen and heard since last Friday and again this morning from Mr. William Castro, the Chief of Staff to Governor Torres, is merely scratching the surface. Throughout his testimony, Mr. Castro kept repeating, the governor has the final say. And I will quote, at the end of the day, the buck stops with him and he is held liable in his capacity as the chief executive and the only sole authority to expend these funds on behalf of the people. I wanna state for the record, there is no program in our government wherein the governor is personally handing out checks, handing out fans, handing out rice, handing out butane stoves. No other program except this boost program. There was no explanation for why they kept extending the deadline when they knew that the original seed money, 11 million, and again, 6 million on December 1st, was gone within the first 241 applica applications they approved. There was no transparency, no records of when the review panel members recused themselves due to conflict of interest, no adverse remedy to appeal denials, or why when an applicant asked for 30,000 was only given $5,000. On at least one occasion, non-panel members who were subcontractors and boost recipients themselves were reviewing applications at the direction of Mr. William Castro. When Mr. Castro granted access to the documents he scanned, he gave access to our legal counsels, every single member of this committee had to request permission to access those documents, delaying our review of those documents. But he certainly granted access to Ms. Selena Sapp, Mr. Shane Villanueva, and a Mr. Jason Palacios. The government is supposed to guarantee fair process. There is neither fairness or a process with the implement, implementation of the boost program. We all agree that the government should support people in time of need. However, that help should be provided fairly and impartially. There should be an open process that is equally applied. Unfortunately for the boost program, there was no written process, no record of meetings, no neutral decision makers, and the only decider, according to Mr. William Castro, was Governor Torres himself, who appears to have used the program to please potential voters. But the most important takeaway from Mr. Castro's testimony is that this joint committee should direct all questions to Mr. John Arroyo, president and CEO of the Bank of Saipan. And I am glad to say that in the next few minutes, we will have Mr. John Arroyo in the chamber to answer some of our questions. Thank you, I yield.